Wow, good morning, Brett Slater. Debt buster. Uh, I wanted to come out this morning uh, to shoot some videos while the sun was coming up. Um, and I was luckily and lucky enough to um, turn up, obviously, as the, the local temple is doing their morning ritual. Did you hear that music in the background? Before I started to shoot, I wanted to um, I wanted to just record the music uh, and uh, and kind of get the morning happening. Which, honestly, wow! I might have to come out here every morning and listen to that. It only went for maybe um, I don't know five minutes, I guess, as the sun was coming up. And I don't know, maybe they'll play again. Uh, but it's a great way to start the day. Like honestly, like if you want to get stuff done and you, you're finding life is a bit of a challenge, um, you know, over here you can see uh, people are now getting out into the rice paddy fields to to start their day. Um, you know, these people have got like, gratitude locked down. Like they they understand what it means to be happy while walk, walking in the mud and, and he was starting again. No, it's actually over here now. So it started behind me in the temple and now there's a temple over here that started. Wow. So I guess today's lesson and today's um, message is, you know, when you think life is tough and you don't know what to do and you're, you're looking for answers, sometimes you just need to get up early in the morning and... Uh, start doing sh shit get it done make that list I've been talking about if you're smart enough to get in a lot of debt then you're smart enough to understand that you need to um, create the solution I'm here to help you create the solution I'm here to help you get get away from that bad vibe or the bad ideas or the bad life that you're living and I'm going to use vibe because I am here in Bali and, and uh, I'm listening to some beautiful uh, Balinese traditional music while the sun is coming up. And uh, to remind myself that this is why I do it, you know. Can you hear that in the background? Wow. You know, if anything, you want to just get out of debt so you can stand here in the fields of Bali and listen to that music while the sun is coming up remembering like what you're grateful for like you know normally I'd be doing a, uh, a morning walk and I do the hour of power with Tony Robbins and uh, so I'm getting bitten by mozzies um, and you know like there's a section it only goes for 15 minutes there's a section where you've got to you know be grateful be grateful for the, the, the ground you're standing on. Be grateful for the books you've read. Be grateful for the information that you've gotten that you haven't had to write. Like, be grateful for the food. Be grateful. You know, it's one of those classic ideas. Is you know, like, if you're being grateful and you're thinking about what you need to do in life and how you can help others, it's virtually impossible to be. It, it's actually, it's not virtually. It is impossible to be unhappy. You can't be unhappy and grateful at the same time. Just try it. Today's lesson, go out and just walk around and out loud say what you're grateful for. I'm not a religious man, I'm not interested in all that kind of uh, connection, but I understand love and I understand what people need. People need to connect, uh, actually last night, so I just realised that the camera turned off, I think my alarm went off. But what I was trying to show you was, I was trying to show you the sun coming up over the rice paddy fields. Let's have a look and see if we can do a bit more of that. It's not the best shot or the best lighting, uh, but you kind of get the idea. Uh, over here, people are coming out into the, um, into the rice paddy fields to start their day's work. You know, it's... Uh, they're just grateful to have food for their family, they're grateful to be able to work on the land, like they're grateful people, you know, they're not, they're not, uh, they're not desperate like we are to create money and wealth and, um, 
they're quite happy doing what they're doing. Anyway, I'm going to do a bit of a sign off. Um, today's lesson, gratefulness. Remember, remember to, uh, to take life by the balls, as they say, and have a go. Be grateful. Remember that you need to find yourself first before you can help others. Anyway, if you do need a hand getting out of debt and uh, you're finding it a bit tough, and I do have a three-step, I don't know why I put those up, I do it all the time, why did I put those up? Three-step system. Brett Slater, come and have a look. My website's not up and running yet, but you can find me on Facebook, uh, and we can we can do a 10-minute consultation, start-up call, and see if we can work together. Because I'm not interested in working with people who don't want to help themselves. Uh, it's, it's pretty simple. I'm looking for people who want to help themselves uh, get out of debt, and not just get out of debt, you know, create a new life this is not you know debt is just step number one it all comes down to how much you want to change like I wanted to change that much that now I'm in Bali and I was hanging out with a bunch of cool people last night and I uh, I um, and I live here at the moment not forever but just for a little bit anyway Brett Slater click the link share if you know anyone who needs a bit of help with their debt Brett Slater look at that birds in the morning. God damn, I like this place. I love this place. Anyway, take care. Have fun. Brett Slater, Law for Brett Slater, Law for Brett Slater, Debt Buster.